right. So welcome everybody to July 28th. Every for everybody on this call, it's not July 29th yet for anybody. <laughs> um, Asia Pacific call. Um, so let's see if you could add yourself to the minutes. That would be great. I think everybody has. We have a few things on the agenda for today. Um, and I think the I'll wait for Elizabeth on the the other one on the promoting of the Asia Pacific call, but I think I'd like to talk a little bit about the translation. So there's been quite a bit that's been happening with respect to the translation. So um, Nico, I don't know if Nico, I don't know if you're familiar with this, but we're translating the metrics into a variety of different languages. And at the moment, we're kind of working through the process by which this would get done. So we- I've read it somewhere, so okay. yeah. The, the idea is right that we have, it's a good idea to do these translations, but it's harder to put this process into practice. And so uh, a lot of people on this call are part of the translations repository. So, um, and then Yash is a Google Summer of Code student who's been working with Retic as well. Uh, on the metrics release process. So how do we automate the metrics release? So as working groups develop metrics, how do we better automate that process? And as part of that, the metrics release process, we're thinking about how translations can be <laughs> included in that process. So I'm gonna turn it over to, to Yash for a second to talk about kind of where we're at at the moment with respect to to how we're thinking about doing translations. So Yash, do you, do you need to share your screen or anything? Yeah, I'll just share my screen. Can I do it? Or do I need post permissions? There, you're good now. Is the screen visible? Yes. Yes. So we are essentially trying to create a process which defines uh, from right from the very beginning when the metric ideas really is you know discussed in the working group so once the idea is discussed we formulate a metric then we create a pr to the working group and we add them to the original working group repositories so what we are trying to do is create a process that would help the translations community know that a particular metric has been updated changed or a new metric has been released. So it involves a lot of things and there are some uh, very easy things to miss. For example, uh, the working groups often debate on each particular word. So those changes can go unnoticed. So essentially we are trying to create a process so that no change goes unnoticed. And also we have a structure that could help in the automation of translations. So I think the community has reviewed the document. Thank you, Yevi, for reviewing the doc and adding your suggestions. So I believe Kevin had a few questions and we have some answers to them. And we would like everyone to just take a look and if they want to add their suggestions, if they have anything else to add, it would be really helpful. So the first question Kevin pointed out was, how should the English metrics release team signal that a metric needs to be translated? So currently for that, we have a release notes issue in each working group repository. For example, we have one here in common right now. So what we want to do is like, whenever a metric is updated or a new metric is added, we want to reference this issue so, yeah. so we want to reference that issue. And from there, we want to uh, say like, hey, the translations community can take a look at that issue and know what changes have been done to what metric. Additionally, we also want to create label the PRs that affect the metrics with say needs translation attention or any of that particular sort of label that could help them know, you know, that would help them filter out that yes, a change has been done that affects the metrics. 
and they can take a look at all the existing PRs and you know proceed accordingly with their translations. So, okay, so can I any start, thoughts? Can I stop here, Yash? So um, it sounds like there are are there more ways of signaling? So the, the first would be the use of the the issue, the metrics release issue, correct? Yes. And in that issue, um, could you open the issue? Yeah. You click on that. So when an English version metric is done in the issue, like right right where it says, you know, right where you could write or preview, would you just add a comment there? Like you would say this metric is available or is able to be translated? What, how would you do, how do you propose to do that? So what we want to do is like, let's say we have a pull request in the common working group that adds a new metric. Mm -hmm. For example, we have this one here. So supposing if this PR gets merged and we add a new metric, what we essentially want can do is reference the issue number of the candidate release metric. Like we can link those two things mm -hmm. and we would get a tag here that, hey, this issue has been referenced in this PR. Okay. So, so how would from there, go ahead, I'm sorry. So from there, uh, the translations team could either take a look at this issue, existing one, or they could also filter the pull request with the translations label. Okay. Could we, we have a group. Um, Shoya, don't we have a group? Yes. The translations we have a tag? Yes. Uh, I don't remember the name. I think it's translation it's key. Chinese, Chinese translators. Translation key. So um, do you want to tag the team also? Probably so. Just so they know that there's a new metric in the release mm -hmm. space. Yeah, I have a question. Um, when when will this per when will this process happen? Like before the before the um, release, the date of the release. Um, um, so when, this when would be a continuously updating process. Like each time the working group decides, like, hey, uh, we want to add a new metric. So they would have to, uh, you know, add a reference this issue. So this would be an ongoing process and not necessarily just before the release, but it would be something that would be occurring continuously. Because I noticed uh, that maybe uh, is this the common metrics repository? Mm -hmm. uh, I think there, uh, if you can look into the issue list, uh, I think I, I, I can already saw some uh, metrics release candidates. Yes. Yeah, I saw some candidates, and uh, what we what we wish is uh, if we can just uh, once it becomes a candidate, and we can just simultaneously, continuously translate translate it into Chinese because we, we kind of we are working on um, automate this process, like uh, call some API to do uh, the first version of translate translation, and because we will rely on reviewers to review it. So, um, and we wish this per, during this process, we can discuss the content, uh, especially for those folks in Chinese community, they can look at the Chinese version, uh, which is not released yet, but they can find some, maybe their opinions, but yeah, we, we kind of uh, want to release it along with the English version. So from what I'm understanding, we could tag the uh -huh. Chinese translations team right here in the candid release issue. Yeah. That does. From what I... 
Yeah. I think it's William. I'm coming back. Hello. That tomorrow they are not. So Mark and Mark. Shoya, did I hear you right? That can you go back to the yes? So what I understood, Shoya, was that these tags are important for you. Yeah, I think we can extract the issues with this kind of tags, or、okay. uh, tags and. Would you, would you like a would would a another tag be useful? Like we could have a, you know, translate tag. Like because we could multiple tag any of these things. Would there be anything be helpful to you? Yeah, if you think、um, this is ready to be translated, you can add a like a, another design tag. Um, mm -hmm. And maybe to attach the commit message with、um, with that specific metric in the repository. Okay.、And、yes, that works. So once the working group feels like they have done some work and the metric is finished at its draft stage, we could add the translations label.、Mm -hmm. Have the translations team take over from there. Yes. Yeah,、uh, I have a question. When usually、uh, the metrics is ready to be labeled like、uh, like this, I mean, they is ready to be translated to be labeled to be labeled as a matrix candidate release. When it usually happened, it so it only happened during the、uh, review period, or it's kind of、uh, you know have a longer time slot before the formal release of the English version. Yeah. So the way that we do releases is we have a formal release every six months. So yeah, August, whatever September, and then six months after that.、Um, and that's just how we version the full set of metrics for release. But we also Allow working groups to release a metric any time during that six-month period, and that's just what we call the continuous metrics release. And so, tomorrow or even today, the DEI working group, for example, may release a metric. I'm not sure, but like for example, they could.、Um, so that that metric, when it's released today, will go under community review for a month. Even though it's not part of the official release yet, but it'll go under community review for a month, and then it'll become a chaos metric.、Mm -hmm. Period. And then in September,、uh, we'll, we'll when they when those sorry sorry,、mm -hmm. uh, I mean when those metrics which is under review, is that、uh, are those metrics、uh, added as any similar labels like this? Some metrics and the review label. Oh,、um, no! It's just it's just the label you see here. Metrics candidate release. Uh huh. But we could so, add a label. Because because、uh, when I when I'm do when I'm doing the translation in the past、uh, like、uh, two or three months, I found that there are some metrics they mentioned in the content side. Uh, this metrics is under review. Welcome your comments, but、uh, except those, except this message, I didn't find any other、uh, areas to 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 have those kind of information. Okay. So, so I'm kind of、uh, I'm I'm quite、uh, hope that I can、uh, there's there's some public place that、uh, they can tell me. Uh, that okay, those metrics are under review, and、uh, we are waiting for your comments or something like that. Okay, so like a, a central place where we can track this, as opposed to necessarily here. Yeah. So I wonder if、um, let me pull something up here.、Mm -hmm. um, just give me a second. So. 
So, um, Yash, can you stop sharing your screen yep. for a second? So we, you know this, right? Yep. So I'm wondering if we could modify this spreadsheet. Would that be helpful? Because this is obviously our central place where mm -hmm. we track all metrics across all working groups. Okay. Would this help if we did it here? So which means, uh, in precise, it's uh, uh, the metrics is still under discussion. It's not how uh, yes. I put it in the uh, release queue, something like that. Yeah, so in progress means that we're just kind of talking about it in the working group. But do we have any status that, okay, okay, under community review, great. Yep. And I also notice that uh, I just sent a link in the chat that uh, under this metric link, uh, we have some metrics to mark with the right color that under review. Does that does that uh, have uh, the correct mapping with this table? You can scroll down. Yes, scroll down. Yeah, like this one. Yeah. So this, so this label that Kevin puts on right here. Mm -hmm. This is a metric that was released. It'll basically stay under review until we do the formal release. So if, let me give you an example. So if a community released a metric on October 1st of this year, our next formal release will occur sometime in 2022. You know, it'll occur sometime next year. This tag will stay on until we do the formal release. Okay. So that tag will stay on for anywhere between one month to, to six months, kind of depending on when our metric okay. is released in that window. Like it could be shorter if it's closer to the release, it could be longer if it's farther away from the release. So, so before we start any translations, uh, like this kind of review, we can uh, put pop up our ideas or comments for these metrics yes. and help them to improve those metrics. Yes. And then, uh, when when they uh, when the group working group think, okay, this metric is ready to uh, to release, and uh, they will add a label, side, uh, okay, ready to translation, and. Uh, we are, we are going to translate it into gotcha. Chinese or any other languages. Okay. okay. So, so, the, so the process that you're talking about then would be the English version of the metric would be released one day. Mm -hmm. It would go under review by the community to see if there's any changes that the community would like to make. Once the review is done, then a signal to translate the metric. Because when the review is done, the metric doesn't change too much or at all. Yes, I agree. Just to fix some typos, I think. Yeah, exactly. Just to fix some typos. OK. Does that, Yash, does that work with? So, Matt, don't we, uh, like, after the community review, don't we directly proceed to the release? We do. Or yeah, so the English version is released. So after the community review is done, we the metric is released. So we have a biannual release right after that. Okay. We do. So it, it's a little. I'm sorry. I'm not. I don't know that I'm explaining this extremely well. So every metric is, if the community, if the I'm sorry, if the working group is done with the metric, the working group is satisfied with the metric. The metric immediately goes under community review and will be released on the web page like this. <laughs> like it's it's available for everybody. We just want to get it out there for everybody. Kind of data or something like but, so the metrics are always made available under continuous metric release. We didn't want to hold them all for every six months. We didn't want to like keep them piled up 
for six months and then released them all at six months. So then every six months, we basically say, okay, everything that's been in that prior six month window, we're gonna, it's not gonna be under community review anymore. We're gonna get rid of the issue. It's just gonna now be a formal metric, kind of like say burstiness or activity dates and times. So our metrics are released twice, kind of. They're released once just to get them out in front of everybody. So, so we just wanna get them out there. And then they're released a second time which is as part of the version. So, cause we just, we want to version track all of our metrics. So I think what you're talking about, the process that you're talking about could really just occur on that first release. So anytime a metric is released, it goes under community review. There's a, a period of time where people, people can make comments on the metric, just like program language distribution here. Once that period is kind of done, then we can signal that it's ready to be translated. So I know the translation team is of the opinion that we want a simultaneous release. So if directly after the community review, we proceed to release the, we proceed to the formal release, uh, how would the translation team ensure that they have enough time to translate the metric? I mean, after after community review, I mean, there would be not that much uh, changes. I mean, not the mm -hmm. whole refactor of the of the metrics happened. So at that time, I mean, translation team can start working on the whole the translation work. Okay. And. Uh, Actually, we can use that uh, period to find some uh, issues. Maybe uh, uh, we found some uh, uh, different ideas or new ideas about these metrics. They can pop up, yes. come back sure. to the metrics. So yes. the translations team can utilize the community review period to get started on translating the metric, as well as they can add yeah. their own ideas to it. Does this sound yeah. good? That would be. Yeah, that would be good. Yep. So can I take it as uh, as long as a metric is put on the website and have, have this under review red label, uh, that's when we uh, the translation can begin. That, that would be a good assumption. Yes. yes. Yep. Okay. I shared, yeah. I share the same idea. Yeah. That sounds good. So how, okay, so uh, this is great. Thank you for the feedback, everybody. This is, it's, I think it's so interesting that how, how challenging getting this process together is. It's, it's really, um, and so, um, so Yash, the translation will lag just a little bit. You know what I mean? Like it just, it, it has to, because if it ends up on the website, then it's technically been released by chaos and the translation would simply just follow slightly. Yep. So, and so, completely okay. so do we have three checks in place now? One would be the release notes issue, the other would be the labeling of the PRs and the final one would be like, you know, check the website. Yes. That sounds good. Okay. Yeah. Cool. And then on the, Yash, there is the, <laughs> go ahead, you. Do you have a comment? Oh, I mean, uh, so which means we have to notice the, some notification from the GitHub to say, okay, there are some metrics is under review, right? Yeah. So that's where I think we can okay. tag the team the translate team. And I'll show you, I'll take another look at who's in that team. Or do you know, can you tell me? Uh, I think uh, it's me, Kim, uh, Clement, and uh, Ye Hui now. Is that good enough, do you think? Um, yeah, for now, and I, I can't find anyone else. Oh, okay. I am I mean, maybe Wayden. Ye Hui is not in us. the team, I think. There are only five members in this team, so Yahweh is not in this team. We can invite him okay. tonight. Yeah. yeah. 
I'll do that. Okay. So, okay. should I share the screen? We have some more yeah. questions. Let me go ahead, Yash. So, the, is the screen visible? Yes. So, we fixed this one. Thank you, everyone, yep. for your suggestions. Uh, moving on to the next one. How does the translations team signal that the translations are ready for release? So the process is essentially, how do you tell the Kevin or English members, like the translations have been done, they are up to date, and we can now proceed to the release of translated metrics. So, so I have to ask the question that uh, what do we mean the metrics? It's, it's to, to, does translation release have a similar means of the like an English release, like a community release and uh, and some official release, but does, does, do they have the similar concept of, of the release? So this, uh, do we want a review period for translated metrics? This is, I, I mean, this after is... after the English, uh, I mean, the community release of the metrics mm -hmm. is ready for, it's ready for uh, to be translated and then the translation team would start this translating work, and uh, uh, and it should be done by uh, a, P, a pull request. And after this pull request is merged, I think this uh, community release metrics translation work should be ready. And uh, after, and this is for the community release metrics. And for the official release, I think it's only should be done after the official release. Uh, of the metrics is ready. It's mm -hmm. is ready, and we start the whole. Uh, I mean, the re revision of the Chinese translation for that. Okay. So, did you have a comment too? Thought you had a comment. Uh, I was thinking maybe we. My opinion is maybe uh, for the release, we only need the official metric, Chinese virtual metric um, with a PDF and a version of them. So like every six months? Yes. Okay. We could do yeah, that. I, 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 agree. I agree PDF version could, be, could, could only be once uh, following by the official release. But uh, I mean, we have to keep updating with uh, with uh, English versions, metrics, uh, community metrics release. Otherwise, it's we only get a Chinese translation every half a year, a half a year. It's quite it's quite a long time for us to get some some new metrics information. Once the some new community met, uh, I mean the metrics is released. That, before the official release. Um, so what is a significant significance for future to uh, signal that a Chinese metric is released, um, uh, except that it, uh, it is merged, the PR is merged, because the metric, it, uh, the Chinese metric won't be put on the website and or elsewhere. Mm -hmm. So the Mars project use a YAML file as the primary input. And in the YAML file, we basically list down these metrics which have been updated or changed. We basically show the directory structure of the YAML, I'll just show the YAML file. So we have a file that is the primary input. So we were actually thinking that after all the PRs have been done and the translations metrics are ready for release, you could simply go ahead and update this YAML file, which would be there for translations, for Chinese translations. And that could be a helpful signal to us like, hey, the translations are now ready to release. We have updated the YAML file.
Can I can I share an insight from a different community I'm in? Yeah, of course. I, I'm I'm part of the Free Software Foundation Europe, and we have a website. Let me let me just drop it in the chat. Um, um, and we, being in Europe, we have a lot of languages, so every page is, can be translated at a certain point in time, so there's no fixed release date. And the way we keep track of uh, translations is by versioning each document with an explicit version number. And so we have an automated status page for each file to see if there's um, translations lagging behind, a couple of translations. And if you were to go to that particular page, there will be a header on the top of the page saying, you are now reading the translation, and this translation is outdated with the original document. And this is uh, an automated process. This kind of version so for tracking the system. Status, it gives an overview. Sorry? Uh, I think it's kind of version tracking system, or it's automatic. It's it's all XML based uh, DIY scripting. Uh, it's it's it's, um, it's something that was coded, uh, yeah, uh, specifically uh, for this uh, website. To, uh, sorry, do you mean? But it is automated. Oh, okay, it's automated. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, I know the translations team is looking to have their tran the metric translations automated in the future. So I think this would be very helpful to them. So, so um, I think the main source of information that, that made this possible was keeping track of versions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So right now the process which we have is like, we keep track of the versioning of the PDFs. Is that correct, man? It is. Right, so right now we, like if we add a new versioning to each file, would that be very troublesome? I don't know. I think we discussed this with the mentors. Yeah, we Matt. should take this back. Also, Nico, go ahead. Yep, go ahead. Go ahead, man. I was just gonna ask, Nico, do you have the the code that runs this? Is that available? Uh, yeah, I should have a look. Um, that might be helpful, like just to, to, to be in more detail. Yeah. So, I'll look it up. Maybe I won't be able to make it right now. But. Mm -hmm. So Kevin actually put this down and we then decided that it would be much simpler if we just kept track of the versioning of the PDF rather than single files. Yeah, let's talk about that. We'll talk about that with Georg and Kevin. Yep. They would have better insight on that. So I think we are, so is this process okay, the updation of the YAML file? Or do we need something more? I mean, I'm okay with it. It's, 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 this is just how, this is really just how the, when the translation is complete, how it gets said yes. that it's complete. Mm -hmm. That's it. I mean, that's really all we're asking for here. So, so, so we are so does, it mean, does it okay. mean that we only trigger much uh, every, every half a year? Yes. When the English and the Chinese words, okay, that's the release. Mm -hmm. That's the part of the formal release. And that is the release Kevin really wants to discuss here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're trying, yeah, this is two things. One is the formal release, which takes a lot of work every six months. I'm wondering, so I, go ahead, Yash. No, no, I was just moving on to the next question. So um, any thoughts? Yeah, so can you, I'm wondering if, um, like, so can you stop sharing your screen for a second, Yash? Sure. And then give me just a second here. So, so 
So right now we have obviously this web page, right? Which yeah. provides access to the English translated version. And so as an example, here is a diversity and inclusion metric on mentorship that has been translated and it currently resides in a GitHub repository. So the question is like, when this is complete as it is now, how does that like for any new metric? Because at this point, I don't think we need signals on the metrics that have been completed, but any new metric that has been translated, how is that signal provided? And then subsequently, I'm starting to think that we should get at least a link to this markdown page here on this site. Like at the moment, all of our translations are within the GitHub repository, which is fine, but so are all of our English metrics. But the English metrics right now are given like kind of a priority by being on the website as well. Like I can click on technical fork here, right? And see the technical fork. So it makes me think too, we need to draw this as an example forward to here. I know this is a little bit different, but this is this conversation has brought this up in my mind. So this would require updating the template for any translated language, I suppose. Yeah. I mean, even like the, the lowest bar right now is just providing like another column that's like Chinese translation. And it simply just links here. I mean, it's not as pretty at the moment, but it at least elevates the markdown file to the web page, which is a good idea. Uh, I think I like this idea. Right. Yeah, it came, because it's not yeah, it came from your comments. So go ahead, I'm sorry. I think, I mean, it doesn't take so too much work. It just, we just link the GitHub. We don't need some actual mm -hmm. things. Maybe we don't need this. Like the- No, the I don't think so. No. But if there was just a link here that went here. So mm -hmm. do we want to add the, the translated? Do we want to add the website link to the translated metric? Like, hey, this metric was translated from this one. I think so, because that would also help us track a little bit like what has been translated and what, mm -hmm. like if we have a column that's got a blank in it <laughs> that tells us, <laughs> hey, yeah. technical fork hasn't been translated. So this would just be another signal that would help us. It would also elevate the work that's being done on the translations. And Yehoi had pointed out that, that like, we don't want to necessarily have the translations occurring only every six months, or I, I'm sorry, the release of the translations occurring every six months, it would be very beneficial to get the translated metrics out to a community sooner rather than later. Yeah. The more we can do that, yeah. the better. So I think this would be a good place to do that. That can be done, of course. Shall we move on to the next question? Yeah, I'll, I've stopped my share. Thank you everybody for this conversation. I know this is taking a while, but the hope is to improve the process, so. Yeah. I really like so, this idea. Okay. This one covered it. So what does the life cycle of this process look like in comparison to the English release one? So I know we are looking preferably for a simultaneous release but if it gets a little delayed by one or two weeks, yep. will that be okay? We want to keep a two week buffer period? I think two weeks, two weeks, a two months is too, too long for everyone because too long, because two months, the food is, is not fresh. Metrics is not fresh. <laughs> I like the, I like the <laughs> So, yep, we'll have two weeks. I'll update the doc with the most recent change, uh, discussions we are having right now and I'll ask on the Slack channel.
to do a final review. Mm. So how much time is needed and when should translations be released? I think we covered this. Do we release it regard uh, less or of whether or not translation is complete? Or we have an answer that we only release when the translation team signals to us that the metrics are ready for release. Mm. Do we need a review period? Oh, this could be partially overlapping with the community review period of the translate uh, of the original yes. English metric. Mm. So we are covered on that too. Do we need to have some sort of versioning? So thanks, Yuhi, for the comment. We, uh, so I think we can use the language and append it at the end of the, you know, the current release number which we are using right now, and that will solve our issue. Mm. And how do you make sure that documents or changes are not left out? We already have three checks in place for that that any changes are not missed out. So I think we are good on that too. Mm. I think so. I think this is helping a lot clear up questions that we had. And uh, thanks for adding this suggestion. I added it to the actual doc. Like the suggestion is mainly like we could have a glossary or a comparison table to ensure consistent neighbor between the English and the translated language. So I just went ahead and added the suggestion. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. thank you. And other one was about making the commit hash and commit message necessary. Do we want to discuss this? Do we want to make this mandatory or do we want to keep it optional or something like that? Any suggestions? I know some, if you are of the opinion that you mandate, keep it mandatory. So, mm -hmm. because, we, we, because I'm thinking of the, the community metrics release. Uh, you know, we have to do some update. We have to do from which uh, base to mm -hmm. to start or the 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 the, mm -hmm. the metrics update. So I suggest to add some commit hash to mark that. Okay, we we the previous translation is start from here, and we we can we can go on. Yeah. So we can make that mandatory, I suppose. Unless anyone has any smart Yeah, I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm not. I'm not quite sure how that's going to play out yet. That's all. So, because uh, adding the commit hash really helps, as Georg mentioned in the mentor meeting, because they would be simply be able to do a get diff, and they would get like, hey, these parts of the metric have been, you know, yes. changed. So does that, are you good, Yash? Because we're approaching the end of time here. Yes, I think we yeah, have uh, so Thanks for adding this suggestion also. I'll update the final doc and we'll just ping you on Slack for a final review before adding it to the community handbook. So thank you. Thank you, Yash. Thank, thank you, you Yash. Uh, go ahead and put it in the chat as well. The generating doc for the versioning that might be something to take yeah. a look at. Mm -hmm. It's not very readable, um, but it works. <laughs> That's the classic like developer. No, it's horrible, but it works. <laughs> <laughs> can't understand it. Maybe not horrible, but you can't understand it. But it works. Um, so, and Yash, thank you for your kind of very thoughtful step through of this process to receive feedback so very much appreciated um, your organization and your clear set of questions that you had for everybody um, and then thank you for everybody for your feedback to yash and to the team that we can improve this process um, i think you know i'd like to say like as we Two things, one is we develop this process. So for example, Shoya, if there are labels that are better for you in the signaling process, just just put it in as an issue or something like that. that would improve. Yeah. I just suggest you go ahead and edit it in the yeah. translations guideline doc. Not a big deal. Okay, because we are still working on that 
precise so yeah so we can we can easily fit the needs that you have with that, that process yes. no problem there thanks and then yash would it would it be possible i had put it in the notes that as we're kind of starting to finalize the process mm -hmm. could we could we make a visual of this i suppose so we could have a flow chart yeah from how the working group updates the metric to mm -hmm. how the metric gets translated we can add it i suppose once we have the process finalized in the doc i think that would be super helpful especially yep. as we like we have the opportunity here to in the asia pacific call to talk through this every day but as we offer this process to say um, spanish translations like it might be nice to have that artifact available just as an image saying here's how we're doing it in other places and it might be easier to understand for other communities as we move forward sure we can have that that would be excellent all right everybody we are at the end of time i'd like to thank this very global group we presented in Europe. actually i have another question matt oh uh, how about, how about uh, the, the metrics model? Yes, so that was actually on the, the agenda. So the metrics model that you made. So now we've been waiting to move the website. So the metrics model, again, just for everybody, is ways that we can draw together chaos metrics in kind of meaningful contexts or meaningful scenarios that are helpful to others. Mm -hmm. And so um, we're waiting for Kevin to move the website, and we're going to start including the metrics model and personas, okay. for example, on the website for people. So this is now something we can do. So yes, we are going to include it. Yeah. So Matt, we, I think we can share the pilot of these metric modes by ourselves and the next meeting, and then we can then discuss the working group for yeah. the metric models. Yeah. That would be great. Yeah, I think yeah. if there's some work need to do, we can we can join this work together. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Why don't we move the metrics model to the top of next week or the next meeting? And Sean will be there too. I know he's also trying to tool Augur towards that model that you had put forward. You know what I mean? So actually tooling tooling this process. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm, yeah. Great. All right, I will move that to the top of the agenda for the next time. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you, everybody. It's good to see. Good to see everybody. And nice to talk with everybody. Thank you, everyone. Okay. Have a good week. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.